So imagine you're sitting at 424 and you have one card slot left before you hit your 524 mark and you want to try to get as many bonuses from Chase as you possibly can before you hit that 524 mark. That's kind of my dilemma at this point. In this video I'm going to tell you guys what my future card application strategy is going to be so that way I'm able to maximize the amount of bonuses I get before I hit 524. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the video. Damn! What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, be sure to give the video a like. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm currently sitting at 424, and if you don't know what that means, that means I am one card slot away from not being able to get any more Chase credit cards. And so, I'm gonna tell you guys what my future credit card applications are gonna look like in order to maximize that one slot. So my very next card that I'm going to uh, apply for, seeing how I just got approved for the Business Inc. cash card, which has a $500 cashback bonus, which turns into 50,000 ultimate rewards points once I transfer it out, so that's amazing. So the next card I'm gonna apply for after a little bit of time has gone by is the Business Inc. Unlimited card. And so that is similar to the Chase Freedom Unlimited card, but the only reason I am uh, going to apply for this card is because it also has a $500 cashback uh, bonus, which turns into another 50,000 ultimate rewards points once I transfer it out. This card also has a no annual fee, so that's another reason why I will be able to apply for it and keep it. So, you know, I don't ever have to worry about it. And, uh, I'm not exactly sure what the categories are. It says select business categories. So uh, whatever that is, I mean, I'm sure I might be able to find some use of it. Once I finish that application and I get approved, because I will, I'm going to go after another Chase business card, which is the Southwest Business Premier card. And that comes with a 60,000 point sign up bonus. So I will be able to utilize that towards uh, my Southwest flights anytime I choose to uh, redeem them in the future and that will also put me at 50,000 points remaining to earn the Southwest Companion Pass. If you're not familiar with the Southwest Companion Pass, it is essentially a buy one get one free pass and you can almost utilize that whole thing for a full two years just depending on how your strategy is so I do have a card that is coming due here pretty soon towards the end of the year once that 24 month period has gone by it will put me down to 324 so so I'm going to go ahead and use my fifth slot and my 524 slot to get another Southwest card and so what I'm going to do is I'm either going to go after the Southwest priority uh, card which is a personal card or the Southwest Premier card for the personal side. And each of those at the moment come with another 60,000 point sign up bonus. And that will actually allow me to earn the Southwest Companion Pass and I will be able to uh, add a companion to fly for free for you know as long as the companion pass lasts obviously um, I will have to pay taxes on that companion ticket but you know when you can buy one get one free for a little over a year I will take that by you know any means also I'm kind of at odds because I'm not exactly sure which one I want to apply for because one has a higher annual fee but both cards give you a anniversary bonus for having the card. So one is a 6,500 point bonus and the other is obviously the higher an annual fee and it will give you a 7,500 point bonus after your card anniversary. So basically every anniversary of your card, of you having it, you will get those bonus points uh, added to your Rapid Rewards account. And also, with the higher annual fee, which is the priority card, they will give you a $75 Southwest credit, which is essentially $75 that you can subtract from the annual fee, which ultimately 
makes your annual fee a $74 annual fee, which is not bad. So that's kind of why I'm at odds because I do see the benefits of having the priority card because Southwest does have some flights to the Caribbean that I am going to eventually redeem. If you time it right and you plan your trips, you can actually get the lowest possible fares or the lowest possible redemption uh, in terms of points on Southwest. And so that is one reason why I would like to have those cards in my pocket. And so so once I fall out of that 524 again, because that card will uh, run its 24 month lifespan, uh, I will probably try to go after either the British Airways credit card or the World of Hyatt card. And the reason why I'm thinking about those two cards is because for British Airways, they earn Avios. And so that is one way that I kind of see a benefit in traveling overseas because I do have some aspirational travel uh, locations that I want to go to. And the other is because the World of Hyatt card, um, there are some perks. They do give you a free award night and Hyatt is usually the best way to redeem Chase Ultimate Rewards points for the moment since United has gone away with their award chart. So um, that's probably the best way to redeem Chase points at the moment in my opinion, that and Southwest. I have a trip coming to Chicago here in a couple of months and uh, I was trying to redeem some chase points for you know a round trip for two to get to Chicago through United and they were trying to you know basically rip my arms and legs off with my points they wanted to charge hundred and four thousand points when I got them on Southwest um, for 20,000 points which is not bad that's 10,000 points per person for a round trip each each person and so I can't complain with that you know so that's why I value the Southwest um, points as much as I do and after I finish my chase slots I plan on going to the American Express side uh, I'm not exactly sure what that strategy is gonna be right now but once I figure that out I will be sure to let you guys know that way if you don't have a strategy of your own and you are somewhere in a similar position as I am uh, you could refer back to this video and possibly try to use some of the strategies that I'm using and if you're saying hey you're trying to apply for four cards that should put you over 524 well one thing you need to know is that if you apply for business cards they do not report to your personal credit report so although they might see the inquiry they will not see that card that you've been approved for on your credit report so it only counts in terms of personal credit cards that you've been approved for in the 524 rule um, there are ways around it um, so what I'm doing at the moment is I'm applying for business cards right now and you know uh, that's kind of where I'm at at the moment until I'm ready to start applying for some more personal cards. I'm trying to be as effective as possible in this game and uh, I feel like I'm doing pretty good for being a newbie. You know, I think I'm, I'm learning this game pretty quickly um, and so uh, I'm looking forward to all of my traveling that I am going to eventually be doing for sure. So you guys just stay tuned to the channel for more updates and uh, if you have any questions I can give you guys some gurus that I really think are really good at this uh, points and miles game and two of them that are really great at showing you how to redeem your points for certain trips are points pointers and wise flies and that is Rami with points pointers and David from wise flies those guys give really good insight on how to redeem your points for certain uh, aspirational stays like the Bahamas like if you want to fly first class on certain uh, trips to Europe um, those guys are really good at showing you how to um, redeem your points uh, effectively and efficiently and for as little money as possible so I would recommend going to those guys sites if you uh, want a little bit more insight on you know just how this stuff works and that'll conclude today's video guys for more video updates hit that subscribe button if you found this information to be helpful give this video a thumbs up I really appreciate it share it with your friends drop a comment down below to let me know what your car strategy is I'm curious to know don't forget to hit the bell notifications down in the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life. Peace.